but this is my daughter and this is my niece. Turn around. Francis McQueen and Elidico McIntosh 
in the Spice Island of Grenada. She moved to Trinidad in her late teens, where she met her now deceased husband, Joseph Lewis. Bernadine survived by two sisters, one brother, Teresa Charles, Cynthia Evelyn, and Franklin McQueen. Her seven children, Jasmine, Peter, Janice, Leon, Ken, Derek, and Joanna. 18 grandchildren, Rachel, Kamasha, Ian, Shireen, Tanya, Sean, Keisha, Stasha, Crystal, Kevin, Kevon, Jaden, Derek Jr., Kadeem, Little Jerome, Shade, Big Jerome, Damien, Terrell. 26 great-grands. Two daughter-in-laws, Patricia and Debbie, two son-in-laws, Anthony Leslie and Ebenezer George, numerous cousins, Nedra, Lucy, Evelyn, Claudette, and so many cousins, so many cherished cousin Marita. While living in Trinidad, she opened a restaurant where she served breakfast and lunch. She did this for many years. She migrated to Brooklyn in 1979 to give her children a better life. Soon, over, soon later, she, all seven of her children were by her side. Bernadine worked as a home health aide while in the U.S. Bernadine had a personality like a magnet. She would draw you in with charming and welcoming smile. She was loved by so many, and we could see that. Thank you. Friends and family, when you met her, you felt that homely, loving, welcoming feeling. She loved Broadway shows, but strips to the casino, and loved to eat. Yes, she loved food. One of her favorite pastimes as she got older was taking her weekly bus ride down to 86th Street. She will always get her great-grandson, Tyler, better known to her as Obama, to go down to 86th Street. If you had a conversation with Miss Marita, by the end of your conversation, you might be family. Bernadine loved to dress. Her eyebrows and her haircut was always intact. Let's not talk about baseball. It was summertime, she was watching the Yankees. Yankees was her favorite team. And it's summertime, you better not change the channel. If, if the Yankees was on, no. You better all off leaving the room. Bernadine, I am sure that you are looking down on us right now with a smile. And we will surely and dearly miss you. You will always be in our heart, in our soul, in our minds, and your memory will continue on. Thank you. from the book of Revolution. <clears throat> I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell 
with them and they will be his people and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain. And for the old, older has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I, I make all things new. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give a gift from the spring of life giving water. The victor will inherit these gifts and I shall be his God and we and he will be my son. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, Jesus answered, I give praise to you, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. On behalf of our Ministry of Mercy and our parish here at St. Vincent, we extend our prayers and condolences to Mrs. Lewis's family and friends who are gathered once more to continue to give praise and thanks to God for her life, for her friendship, for her love. I believe the last time I, I saw Mrs. Lewis, she was at hospital and um, she was somewhat responsive. I know she seemed pretty much at peace. I know it was a trying time for her family because um, seeing a loved one in a state of weakness is not always easy, but all the same. One of the things that I, I learned even from her as she was preparing her journey to God is that um, she realized that in her life and she hopefully shared with her family at that last moment um, the power of prayer. All the things that she could have asked for, none other than her rosary. And to pray that prayer of our Blessed Mother for her repose, for her death, for her peace. Not that she asked anyone to do it, but she did it for herself. And I pray, you know, as it ends, you know, um, Holy Mary, Mother of God, to pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. She asked Mary to grant her the grace of peace through her son. She asked Mary to look upon her failings, that God may be compassionate upon her. She looked upon Mary to be a mother, continue to watch over her family. But most importantly, Mary to be along with her on her journey to God's kingdom. And that's why we're here today, to celebrate our sister's life, that you have known and pray now God's eternal peace, her journey to salvation as we began today. The blessing of her body, the clothing in the garment that reminds us all of one, forgiveness of original sin, the purity and the perfection of the person clothed in the grace of God, that God welcomes in the end. We are given that task in this life, you know, to keep it that way. Unfortunately, you know, um, there is sin, but there is grace. And now is a time of grace 
for our sister in a time of grace for her children, her daughters, her sons, her grandchildren, all of her relatives and friends, to remember the compassion of our God, especially the light of God that stands right before her, that reminds us of the grace and the light of God that is always poured into us each day. That's why we're here. And on this journey, it's one that we too will one day make. And hopefully God will find us also in a ready state, as Mrs. Lewis taught us, to not be afraid and to pray that at the hour of death, God will accompany her to peace. As we listen to the eulogy, and I'm sure many of the stories that were spoken about Mrs. Lewis, you know, her early days in Grenada, migrating to Trinidad, and then to Brooklyn, New York. She really was a wandering woman, wasn't she? And not only that, you know, um, what, you know, I guess caused people to be attracted to her was um, none other than food. But you know, at somewhere along the line, I heard a story, right? Um, so you know, I think her daughters like to cook, right? And you know, when they're cooking, they wouldn't allow her to taste the food, and they would tell her, no, none for her. I understand that? The same mother that, you know, nursed them, fed them, they were like, no, ma, no, no, not for you. This is for something else. I wouldn't tell you how she would thank them in return. <laughs> but all the same, this is a woman that we are here to say thank you to, to God. You know, even, you know, um, I remember, you know, her, her son Derek was there the last time I saw him when she was still alive, you know, and, you know, the, the consolation that, you know, he, he was seeking for her, but also you know, um, the love that you know a mother and, and child shares um, to see someone that was so bright in life, you know, to be at this stage. But all the same, you know, we understand that the bond of love can never be broken, and I'm sure that bond between all of her children, the daughters and sons, are always going to be secured in the way that she loved them and the way that she taught them to love each other and to be of love and charity and care for each other. That's important. And also, so now, here, here are some of the questions I have for you, okay? What was Mrs. Lewis's favorite dish? Okay, kalaloo, bread, food, and oil lung is all, there's three different things. I said favorite. She wasn't a baker, right? She didn't bake bread. So who inherited all of those gifts? Everyone? Guys, is that true? You all could throw it on just as Mrs. Lewis. And they're not saying anything. Who in, so who has now also been handed on the torch of the power to pray and to teach others to pray as she taught you? Everyone got silent. <laughs> Who's Tanty Janice? <laughs> Child, you know, they're showing your age. <laughs> but here it is, you know, um, and, and all of this about family. You know, the whole idea of gathering around a table and sharing a meal, as probably you would do today and probably even when you come together again for Thanksgiving, you would share a meal in thanks. But most importantly, you know, remembering that prayer of Thanksgiving 
is also a prayer of communion. And Mrs. Lewis will always be a part of your life. Wherever you may be, whatever you are celebrating, she is there. You know, the, the, the reading from the book of Revelation, you know, it speaks about the, the re renewal of humanity, not in the state that we know it, but in the fullness of life. And this is what she's we are celebrating that it's her gift from baptism in this life and now to the fullness of life. And we give thanks to God because um because of a you know based upon you know, how many people showed up yesterday and who's who are here today, you know, um it speaks about you know the love that she poured out into this world. Which is, you know, in a wonderful way, a, a chance to gather as God's people. Or even as we listen, you know, to the, the gospel, you know, um, all that God asks of us is to always be open. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. All God asks of each one of us each day is to be open to the presence and the love of God. And I hope by the way Mrs. Lewis lived her life, you will be open to that God. However you choose to call this, you know, we recognize God is God and there is none other above than God. But most of all, you know, as this, this, this gospel began, you know, I give praise to you, Father, for all that you have given me. And all that are hidden will be revealed. And the presence and the love of God is revealed in the way we learn to live and give praise to God. I hope you will take an example of how our sister did so. And remember that each day in your life. You know, the, the readings, you know, um, the Revelation reading says, you know, Christ is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And to him all glory and praise is given forever and ever. This is what Mrs. Bernadine lived, sorry, Mrs. Lewis lived, and this is what she hoped for her family. I pray as God's presence, as we all are, that we will continue to be that love and care for each other, looking after each other with a sense of honesty. As I understand, she was never afraid to say to anyone what was on her mind. However it is, it is, and do it with love as she taught you. It's the one way to ensure that you know that her memory will continue to live on, but not only that, how she has taught you to live as a presence and love of God will always have life. May God bless you, and God console you, and may God watch over you always. Amen. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people living and dead. A response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Crosses to Mrs. Lewis, with baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mrs. Lewis, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord for our deceased relatives and friends and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the family and friends of Mrs. Lewis, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in the joys of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen and love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers you offer for our departed sisters and brothers, 
especially the day of your sister was. Cleanse them all of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this in all things through your Son, Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. The presentation of the gifts, Anaya Caldo, Adriana Lewis, Diana Lewis, Peter Peter Charles.
offerings wash away in the blood of Christ Jesus, the sins of your departed servant, our sister, Mrs. Lewis, and purify us easily by your personal forgiveness those who once cleansed in the water of baptism through Christ Jesus our Lord.
Remember our sister and silver, this is the one who have born from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in the dead by his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the dead he will raise up in the flesh of those who have died, and transform our holy body after the pattern of his glorious body. For your body, sisters and brothers, too, and all who are pleasing to have their eyes upon this life, we have kind of into your kingdom. There we go, we enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. When you will wipe away every tear from our eyes, you will see you all, God, as you are. We shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end. Through your Son, Christ Jesus, our Lord, through whom we restore the world, for all that is good. Lord, I am not worthy that you 
Bishop Hank and Hunter Barker, the only state of that my soul shall be healed.
have the Lord of our God and Christ who has brought us from the last days. We give you thanks and many blessings as you bestow upon us as those in this life, the signs of the goodness of the fellowship in Christ Jesus. Merciful Lord, turn to us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your sin and help us to remain to comfort and console one another in the assurance of your faith, hope, charity, and love. Until we all meet and with you of our sisters and brothers, wherever in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. May the peace of us take our sisters to a place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise, may the martyrs come welcome you and take you to the holy city that you want to to Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to Abraham and the battles of all the world. May you find the angel of rest. Until the rest be granted unto us as good as the Lord. May she rest in peace. And this is Lewis and the soul of our faith and father and the mercy of God. Grant the angels of peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. I may God bless you, keep you, and console you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us take our sister to our peace and rest. And have a poor bearer of peace come forward. Poor bearers.
The people's pain. 